In just a few short days, the biggest sports event in the United States is coming to Miami, the Super Bowl. But fans of American football got the chance to witness the big game a little bit earlier, thanks to an event that was organised in downtown Miami's Bayfront Park. It was called Super Bowl Live. But what was Super Bowl Live? Super Bowl Live is essentially an amusement park about American football that contains most of the essentials that any ordinary amusement park would have. Shops, restaurants, fun and games, and loads more. It is much easier to visit Super Bowl Live by way of public transport, since traffic in downtown Miami is notoriously bad, and also the fact that there are temporary road closures surrounding the event. The closest station for Super Bowl Live is at Bayfront Park on the Metro Mover, which is just a short walk away from the park. After an intense airport-style security check, we were in, and we were immediately greeted with the Pepper Fountain, which was transformed into a water-filled mural depicting the upcoming Super Bowl 54. We walked around the fountain, taking a quick glance at the stages where live performances would occur throughout the day, and then we proceeded towards some stands. These stands sold admittedly overpriced food and drinks, as well as other stands that offered several American football-inspired games. And because this is Miami, there was even a domino stand as well. The main centrepiece of Super Bowl Live was the so-called gridiron field, which was adorned with tons of photo opportunities next to Super Bowl memorabilia, such as giant versions of American footballs. Along the gridiron, there is the NFL shop, selling Miami and Super Bowl merch, as well as other stands advertising other products, including, strangely, tea. A few more stands later, and we successfully walked around the entirety of Super Bowl Live. Except, I actually missed one big section about how the Americans may be returning to Mars, potentially later on in this decade. But I plan to make an in-depth video about that for another time. Overall, Super Bowl Live was a good experience for Miami for people to get into the American football spirit. And the best part about the event was that it was actually free to enter and no ticket reservations were required. 